Hi, so we're here uh, doing uh, our Python tutorial, uh, and we are in the uh, My Data Sci or the Data Science Workbench. It's uh, provided by IBM, but really it's just a way for us to access Jupyter Notebooks uh, through a cloud service, right? It's a free cloud service. It gets us Jupyter Notebooks without us having to install anything. So, so let's go ahead. We're going to open up Jupyter Notebook, and we're going to go ahead and paste in our uh, our link. So in the search bar, you know, we're going to do operators uh, during this video. Um, and this link will be down in the comments of the video or in your assignment. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to just paste that on in there. And you should see Python 3 operators.ipynb for IPython notebook. And click enter. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and import. Remember, we have to select Python 3 and click OK. All right, so operators. So operators is just like in math. You know, we got our we have our um, our plus, our multiplication, our division. Uh, the same uh, the same order of operations applies. Okay, so and remember in our Python notebook, we're just going to go shift enter. Right, that's going to execute the code in any one cell. Um, and the cells that don't have code, uh, you know, we can go in and edit those if we want by double clicking. But we shift enter, and those will go back to being just what we call markdown. Okay, so in the code here, we have number one plus two times three, okay, divided by four, okay? Now, we can go ahead and, of course, just like in math, you know, if we went ahead and we added in some parentheses, that would be way better, right? Because then we can really tell. You know, you, you ask me, well, well, let's see what it is, right? So it's 2.5 there. 2.5. Okay, so we can add in parentheses, uh, you know, if we want, otherwise order of operations. It just works exactly like math, as you might imagine. Okay, so there's the, the common uh, operators there, plus multiplication, division, and they do subtraction as well. Okay, now we have one that you might not have seen before. Now this is the modulo, okay, modulo. <laughs> I always say it wrong. Okay, basically we have a dividend, modulo, divisor equals remainder. So this gets you the remainder. And it's really great for finding out of things like, is, is a number even, right? So if we divided a number by two, if we get no remainder, it's even, right? Okay, so the remainder is, is useful for all kinds of things in programming, okay? So in this case, we use the modulo. So 11 divided by three. Okay, so 11 divided by three, of course, is three, right? So 11 with a remainder of two. So 11 modulo of three is two. That's the remainder, right? And finally, to do powers, we do uh, two multiplication signs in a row. So this is seven raised to the second power and seven raised, or two raised to the third power. Um, ooh, look at that, we're missing. You can put in the print statement yourself there. So we're gonna have two print statements. Let's go ahead and add in the cubed and squared and cubed. Let's shift enter again. And we get 49 and eight, so just as you might imagine. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next section. Okay, and these are operators with strings, right? So, so usually with strings, of course, we're talking about concatenation, right? So, so, uh, but we can do other things in Python. So concatenation is when we just smush two strings together. So in this case, we smush a hello world, a space, a hello, a space, and a, and a world together. Shift enter to run it, and we get print hello world. So notice that we get hello space world. Okay, there's a common thing we have to do in programming right here. We add spaces in or something like that to format it so it's readable for the end user. Um, okay, we can also do things like multiply by a number of things for strings. Okay, so we get lots of hellos equals hello string multiplied by 10. If we load that into the variable lots of hellos. Remember our variable is like a box. It just holds something, right? And we print when we say print a variable name, we print what is contained in the box, right? What's what's being held in the variable. So let's go shift enter. Okay, look at that. Lots of, definitely lots of hellos there. Okay, next one is using operators with lists. So in this case, we have a list of even numbers, right? We have our square brackets. We have our numbers separated by commas. And we have a list of odd numbers separated by commas. We, let's do all numbers equals odd numbers plus even numbers. Now, in your mind right now, let's think, what do you predict? What does that mean? Is it going to be, you know, um, is it going to be, uh, you know, is, is it going to add two to one and four to three and six to five and eight to seven? Okay, is it going to do something else? 
is are we going to get one number? Are we going to get a list of numbers? Well, let's see. Okay, so we're going to add them together. And we did not print. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and print. Print. Let's print all numbers. How about that? Okay. All right. And in fact, what do we get? It does not add them together at all. It smushes them together, right? So we have, we get one, three, five, seven, and we tack on to the end of that two, four, six, eight. So in fact, the addition acts more like a concatenation, right? Um, so they're joined together. So we call it a join. Okay, just as in strings, Python supports forming new lists with repeating sequences using the multiplication operation or operator. Okay, in this case. We could do this. We could also do, it's a little bit confusing, right, just to put it right into a print statement. We can, we can put functions into print statements, okay? So, so let's say that we want to make, um, let's say we want to call it many, many numbers, okay? And we can just print out many numbers there, okay? But you can do it either way. So we go Shift Enter. Okay, and there we have it. So now we're doing multiple joins, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That makes sense to me. One, two, three times three. So, okay, let's take a look at this exercise here. Okay, and remember, go back through and just experiment a little bit if you're having trouble, you know, following the operators here. Okay, uh, and we have exercise three. The target of this exercise is to create two lists called X list and Y list, which contain 10 instances of the variables X and Y, respectively. You're also required to create a list called big list, which contains the variables X and Y 10 times each by concatenating the two lists that you created. Okay, so let's see here. So we have X list and Y list, which contain 10 instances of the variables X and X and Y. Okay, so we have X list. Okay, so X is an object, Y is an object. Well, that's interesting, okay. Okay, so we have X less than Y within 10 instances of variable X, okay. So we have, so we're gonna do X less equals X times 10, right? Because we wanted 10 of those. Okay, and then big list, big list, oops, big list is going to equal, I'm just gonna take a crack at it. Remember, these are all just joins, okay? We're not doing any like, you know, functions that affect the values themselves. We're just kind of smushing these lists together with a join. So let's go ahead and hit Shift Enter. Let's see if that, if that works. Okay, so there we have it. X list contains 10 items. Okay, so notice that we printed X list contains, then notice percent %D, right? So the percent %D is going to get replaced. This says, hey, replace that with the len, that's the length, which is the num just returns the number of objects in the X list. And then we say print, so we got Y list contains, and then percent %D objects. So the percent %D is a code that says, hey, go get this, go get the, um, go get the variable that's in the next part of this, and it says len Y list, so that's how many how many objects in the Y list. Then finally, the big list contains how many of those objects and we get the length of the big list, okay? So there we have it. Um, I forgot to tell you to pause in that one, didn't I? So well, hopefully, you know, you can go through and make sure that you try this on your own. Um, and <laughs> if your friend's still working on it, tell them to pause it. Okay, all right, so, the, so there we have it. Um, you need to have this uh, so it runs correctly. And then go ahead and do file print preview, okay? And to turn this in, notice that it has all my output on here. We're gonna go file print preview, we're gonna do control P, okay? And then we're gonna print to file. We're gonna go click on this, we're gonna save our PDF, okay? But however you save your PDF is fine once you get to this print preview, whether you have a PDF printer or whatever that might be. Okay, and then you're gonna turn that in uh, if you are working in a class. All right, so those are Python operators and uh, best of luck.